in the middle of the highway. This is some bullshit. It didn't need to stop for it. Ain't nothing to see. <laughs> no tourist attraction out here. <coughs> Hey, what's up? This your girl, Vicky Lynn. Having a uh, random thought. We are riding down Indiana Highway with Dang. Crown Vic <laughs> and Crazy. And we just finna see what happened. We gonna let E talk because that's something he love to do. Go ahead, E. What you got to talk about? Hello. Uh, we doing, we're about to uh, go down here. Show up, show out. Fort Wayne, Indiana at Tycoon's. Uh, that's the cricket. Police is near. Police is near. We got to take my foot off. Put, I'm gonna put uh, two put the toes cocaine on the away. Put two toes on the pedal. Leave three off. You know what? Once I was riding down the street with a dude and the police guy behind us, he was like, "Uh, if I need you to do something for me, <laughs> would you do it?" <laughs> hey. <laughs> Like, uh, nigga, I don't even wear tampons. Get the I fuck out of here with that shit. I can't put that much weed in my ass. Couple blunts. <laughs> Couple <laughs> blunts. Uh-uh. I can't do it. That's gross. You want me to eat a bag of cocaine? You know how easy it is for a female to get a bacterial infection? You want me to put that sh No, uh-uh. You and all your boys and, and Javier done touch that bag? No. <laughs> let, let that be a lesson to all the weed smokers. <laughs> My <lie>. Ax. <laughs> Coochie already loud. You trying to put some loud in it. <laughs> <laughs> trying to put loud in loud. It's too loud. Y'all stop that. <coughs> but I guess that's the best plot. Your coochie is loud. Put the loud in there. Mm -hmm. said, never gonna look. You don't gotta oh. worry about the dog going in there. The skunk weed. That <laughs> shit smells so gross. And I'm sorry to all you smokers, but y'all don't realize how bad y'all smell when y'all come in the goddamn PX to get your munchies. Ew. <laughs> the thing that I do like about weed smoke that the secondhand smoke is better. <laughs> you will not die off the secondhand smoke. <laughs> you will get higher. I love it. Hell no, nah, ain't no commercials on TV talking about truth. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a freeloader. I get high off weed smoke. I used to smoke so much weed it looked like a mushroom cloud over my house. I was paranoid as hell. I lived between a drug counselor and a church. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> they was praying for me and lecturing me. <laughs> Giving me pamphlets. <laughs> you break your weed down on them. Man. Why are they talking to you? Yeah, I know. I'm going to quit. I could quit. You know what? The only way I ended up quit smoking weed is they cut my child support off. <laughs> so I had to spend all my money on bills. I was about to say, the only time black people quit smoking weed is when they got to get a job. <laughs> Stop for a minute and shit. Now you got a little nephew or something. Right. Oh, you can't even trust them. Man, I want... You still want... get to... I, I know that's what my nephew gave me. Yeah, he's 32. Fuck! Well, not the last time I smoked weed, but the last time I smoked weed before I quit smoking weed. Because it don't count after I quit. So, it took me... You know where I live at. It took me 45 minutes to get from there to the corner of West Grand and McKinley. And I know because I called my cousin and was like, What time did I leave your house? I don't know if it took me that long or if I was just sitting in my driveway for a long ass time and blinked and realized, damn, I'm just not getting home. But I'm like, you know what? That's enough. I I'm done. And I smoked some, uh, I smoked some Kush because I quit smoking before Loud and Kush got popular. Right. You know, we just had Hydro back in the day. So I, I smoked some Kush with somebody 
and I had to go to the bathroom real bad. And this was like right after I got my kidney. So I always had to go to the bathroom and I had to be there quick. And I was moving in slow motion. But my brain was saying, bitch, hurry up. We got to pee. We got to pee. But I was moving like I was on, like I was a part of the moon landing. I couldn't really get any motivation to go faster. When I finally made it to the bathroom, I came back. I was so thirsty. I grabbed a bottle off the nightstand and turned it up. And only then, once it was in my mouth, did I realize I was drinking for breeze. So, oh, shit. I, don't, I don't fuck with weed no more. <laughs> that was enough for me. Every time you burp, you smell like that. <laughs> He's fresh enough to ruin with your burp. I, like, I stopped smoking weed when it was called reefer. <laughs> <laughs> All his names was. I got, I got the weed man say, give me some reefer. What? <laughs> nigga, did you just get out of jail? How long was you in? <laughs> this nigga the popo. Yeah, this nigga, he ain't even, he ain't even a good deacon. He just, he laughing at you. You know this nigga asked me for dog. What, what, you want that cushion? Nah, this nigga said some reefer. Oh my God. He a bag of reefer. <laughs> Forgot about that word. My friend's I, I, mom still say doobie. You guys over there smoking a doobie? My mom used to call it reefus. Reefus. Don't hug me, smell like them reefus. I'll never forget when my goddamn son, they was having dare week in school. Just say no. And the teacher asked if any of the kids' parents smoked the funny smelling cigarettes. And my son raised his hand. So I'm like, you gonna have to tell her to call CPS the next time your ass go to school. I went to school and with him for parent teacher conference, and he told her that I spanked him. And I stood there like, how does bitch react determines your future. <laughs> Don't get it. That was back in the day, you know, before all this, oh, that's child abuse. She looked down at him and said, I'm sure you must have did something wrong. Because I got that mentality, I'm charming. And when I go to school, and the principals, none of them believe my kids. Like, oh, she she yelled at me, she threw a brick at me, you know, they don't, your mother would never. Yes, the hell I would. <laughs> that's when that's when teachers just, kids almost out of school I can tell it now that, that's when teachers just went to school to teach and they talk now teachers go to school and they get psychology classes <laughs> right you motherfucker try to analyze my motherfucking kid and his whole because first thing they want to say when the kid's acting up how's your home life <laughs> <laughs> are your parents still your together parents, your parents here oh it's just your mom that could lead to some some future problems. Have you talked to your dad? Oh my God! The, the, this lady asked my cousin, uh, "So do your children have the same father?" She's like, yes. "What?" No, you should say yes. My Jesus! <laughs> they all got the same father. You and me got the same father. <laughs> Get out of my business, lady. They don't care. They don't care. Y'all need to calm that down, white folks. Y'all is too nosy. That's how half the diseases got here. What's this? Never, ever. Just leave shit alone. Yeah. Oh, look at that gorilla. I wonder if I. What's that? Have sex with that gorilla? What would become of it? Who the hell just drops a goddamn couch in the middle of the world? In the middle of the Maybe that was that dude. We was are in Indiana. Maybe that's that homeless dude. He's like, shit. Last time I was sitting there. Last time I was sitting there. Was sitting there Who was leaves the recliner while. on the side of the highway? Oh, He's the hitchhiker. Yeah, like, he was comfortable. <laughs> he had to move down the road and leave his chair. I didn't even know people still hitchhike. Yeah, people still hitchhike. They just don't do it on the side of the road. You ever ask somebody to call you for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to. That's hitchhiking. <laughs> they use their thumb to text this for a ride now. Shit. Like, they got to wait for the people on the highway until they go across. And then you always going to have an asshole that's just going to shoot across. Mm-mm-mm. 
All right, finna get up out of here because I'm hitting my 10 minute mark. I don't go over 10 minutes because people have no attention span. So, this is your girl Vicky Lynn with another random thought. I don't blog. either. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Crazy E and Crowd Vic in the car on our way to Indiana, Fort Wayne. Finna do it big on, tonight. If y'all anywhere near Fort Indiana, definitely come out. Or, you know what? Because of my service, it's probably gonna take so long to load this video. You missed it, bitch. All right, yeah. take care. Peace. <laughs>